we're going to be back at FDIC. Uh, that's going to be something that we're all looking forward to with the group from Strategic Fire Training, all of the guys. Uh, it, it, it's going to be something. we. I was involved with FDIC for many years, you know, with the old group. And for some reason, you know, we weren't there the last couple of years, but, you know, we're back now and so forth. And we're going to be doing an engine company and operations class, hands-on. And it's going to be eight-hour days. And it's going to be all about the basics and uh, firefighting from engine company perspective. Good, aggressive firefighting not reckless firefighting so you know it's, it's going to be just offensive and aggressive offensive and aggressive exactly right or yeah. offensive depending on who you're talking to uh, that's okay if we offend them <laughs> then that's too bad you know <laughs> they're just gonna have to live with it now we believe in good principle firefighting let me show you something here that we've developed over time this is our boiler plate and it's interesting because just recently we were in texas and one person who I uh, have uh, a debt of gratitude to is Aaron Fields. He was there. And uh, he, I guess, said the same towards me because, you know, we came together many, many years ago. And you've seen what Aaron uh, has done across the country. Well, we're doing pretty much the same thing from a different engine company perspective. But it's there. And the interesting thing that Aaron said when he was going on the stage after I... He says, you know, I don't change my presentation, you know, just because somebody asked me to. He says, this is what I know, this is what I believe in, and this is what we present. And that's the thing that we've done all along. You know, we put out the principles, we put out the basics and so forth, and that's what has allowed us to develop, you know, this, this boilerplate again. You know, so our philosophy is you keep your firefighting simple. So with that in mind, when you come to our class, there's nothing advanced about firefighting when it comes to engine company operations. Take a look at it from this perspective. There's a house on fire. Here comes a fire truck. Well, what do you want them to do? You want them to put the fire out, pull a line, get water going to it, try to get the things right, the procedures and the, uh, the ways of doing it down so you can go after the fire and kill it. And that's our thing. So that's where our thing about offensive and aggressive firefighting comes in. And had that mindset about firefighting, we want to go after the fire and kill it with overwhelming force. So, so the students who come to our class, they're going to first go into things like, uh, you know, understanding hose lines and the different size hose lines, nozzle pressures, friction loss, and things like that. And we're going to get the mechanics down. And like we tell everybody who takes our class, and we've been going all over the place with this class, no matter how big or how small you are, when you're at the end of the day, I want you to be able to pick up a hose line and go be aggressive with it. You see a fire, go kill it. It's just that simple. And it's another thing that we always have believed in. Keep firefighting simple. Because the fire is going to make it complex enough. So, if you take a look at the uh, thing that we're going to be doing besides that, we're going to be going into group work, going into specialty things, stretching, operating heavy stream appliances, uh, hoisting uh, and climbing with hose lines to different areas of buildings and so forth. Because our thing is, if you take a look at the old people who gave us what we have in the fire service, how they would talk about strategies and tactics and how to do this and what needs to be done here and things like that, that's what we believe in, what they gave us. And it's like how to surround a fire, confine it, and kill it. You know, that was Emmanuel Fried right there. So if you're looking for something like that that has uh, that value, our class is the one I think you want to be in. So. Pretty unique that Chief Halton uh, afforded you eight hours for your class versus what most classes have been four hours, exception being the Fields group, they've had eights, but um, that's a good thing, right? Because we can cover well, a lot of these disciplines and a lot of these different techniques. We'll cover uh, what we can cover in eight hours. You know, really what we're doing is, is giving uh, uh, a class that could be two, three or four days long. Right. And, you know, putting it together as best we can. So uh, students will get something out of it. Believe me, they'll all go away with a lot of work, a lot of reps, and uh, a lot of hands-on stuff. And also from the different positions on the hose line. So the instructional staff that we have on strategic fire training, uh, we, we all know our stuff. and you know, We know how to get the students through and, and uh, so forth. So. Look forward.
forward to it, Jeff. Yeah. Okay.